Hello students and welcome to Smart Kids Tutorials. In this uh, video, we're sharing a quick update on the class 9 uh, exam schedule for coming up in October. It's a Goa board papers, which uh, papers said by Goa board, uh, starting from uh, starting in October 2024 for first semester. So quickly, let's have a look at the exam dates and uh, what else uh, Goa board has said in its uh, recent circular. Okay, so it says uh, that uh, class 9 board examinations for first semester will begin from 19th October 2024. And the first paper uh, obviously is going to be 19th October 2024. And the last date of exams it says is 25th of October 2024. So exams uh, don't even last for a week. Uh, it quickly gets over. Uh, you will be having just uh, six papers. If you're wondering how six papers, when you have seven subjects, uh, history and geography are clubbed together, you will be having just one paper of uh, social science. Even uh, preparatories uh, on this are available in the market at the moment. Then... Uh, each exam will or the paper will begin at 9 a.m. in the morning whenever you have your paper and uh, you are requested to be at the examination center by 8.30 a.m. Now examination center meaning uh, it's going to be the same place uh, meaning your school. You don't have to go to a different uh, school. Late arrival beyond 30 minutes after exam begins uh, will lead to disqualification in the survey so which what means that that if you reach 30 minutes later uh, you may be barred from sit appearing for that particular paper so make sure you are well ahead uh, in time it's always good to be early for an examination so you get a feel of the environment and you are relaxed before you go you go hurry up then you tend to be tend to become nervous. So avoid reaching late. Try to be as early as possible. Candidate will not be allowed to leave before 11.30 a.m. So even if you do not know to answer the paper, and like if you have not studied and you just answer a few things, even if you have st studied limited things, uh, then also you want to leave the a examination room or examination hall, you will not be allowed to do so uh, till 11.30 a.m. Remember, your exam is going to be from 9 to 12. It's going to be a three-hour paper. So, only after 11.30 a.m., you will be allowed to. So, half an hour. So, you might as well sit there for half an hour. Then, um, these are board exams. Uh, this is for the first time that board exams are being conducted for class 9. And uh, you will have semester 1 as well as semester 2, uh, as you may know. And both these papers are going to be set by the Goa board. Of course, the papers will be corrected by your teachers and then uploaded on the Goa board website. And the uh, results will be accordingly intimated by Goa board together. Okay, not in your respective schools. So this is uh, being conducted, this examination is being conducted according to the National Education Policy 2020. Okay, so it says examination will be conducted in respective schools. That means whichever school you are from, the exam will be held in that particular school itself. So you don't have to bother about going anywhere. So at least you're familiar with your surrounding. Only you just need to know where exactly in which classroom your exam or uh, where you have to appear for the exam. All papers are going to be for 80 marks. Okay, so there, as I said, there are no separate history um, and uh, geography paper. They are clubbed together. 40 marks for history, 40 marks for geography and together just one social science paper. So that is also going to be of 80 marks. And the rest you know are of 80 marks. Then uh, for the other subjects, okay, that you have, that is ID, is interdisciplinary, 
um, arts education, vocational, NSQF, physical education. These will have a 30 mark theory paper and a 20 mark practical paper. How they set this uh, and conduct this is up to the schools. So this is a, a, an internal examination which should be carried out by your school. So by the time I release this video, some may have even finished with this, giving you assignments uh, and maybe conducting an examination so forth. It says, under no circumstances, examination shall be postponed, even though any day is declared as a public holiday. Okay. Now, let's say for some reason there is a public holiday, okay, declared between your examination. That means from 19th to 25th. Okay. Uh, you will not get that holiday. So, whichever day the, now that the list is out, it is final. On that particular day, irrespective of whether the rest of the state has holiday or no, you will have your examination. SOPs for, for conduct of examination will be intimated well in advance. SOP means standard operating procedures, that means uh, how uh, do's and don'ts of particular examination, that your uh, teacher will brief you on that. Then uh, for sports person now, sports people like if you are in hockey or football and you are playing for the state or any other state, uh, any other uh, uh, sport uh, where you are representing the state something and you have to be out of town during those days where the exams are scheduled, uh, the, and this is for them. So, it says students participating in sports events in other states who are unable to attend the class 9 examination as per the date schedule will be given a supplementary examination upon their return. So, uh, an examination will be conducted for you. Uh, it doesn't say anything about setting a different paper or will it be the same paper. I can't tell you at this moment. You will probably have to ask uh, your teachers to find out more on this because there is no clarity on this from Goa board as to whether a new paper will be given to them or uh, whatever paper the others have uh, answered or will be uh, you will be made to answer that so there is no clarity on this so this uh, you will have to ask if you are going if you are representing the school or the state uh, and you're out of town for that matter and unable to uh, unable to answer this uh, or miss certain papers then you will be uh, given a chance to appear for those papers uh, whenever it is possible for you uh, let's come to now the schedule that means the and dates as to when you have which paper. Okay, so let's begin with that. So on 19th of October, you know, that's the day you begin with your exam, semester 1. You have English, 9 to 12. So it's a 3 hour paper for 80 marks uh, and you have English. Then on, you, that falls on a Saturday, so you have a break on Sunday for science, which is on Monday, 21st of October. Again, 9 to 12. Then 22nd of October, 9 to 12, you have maths. So there's no gap between science and maths. So then after this, uh, after science, it is continuous. 23rd, you have Hindi for 3 hours, 9 to 12. Then on 24th, you have uh, the third language. It could be Konkani, Marathi, French, Portuguese, whatever third language you have opted for. That will be on 24th of October. 9 to 12. And then finally, the last day of uh, examination, you will on 25th of October, you will have social science between 9 to 12. So this is uh, how your schedule uh, looks like um, for this upcoming examination in o October, that is this month, 2024, for the first uh, semester. Okay. So first is English, followed by science, then maths, then Hindi, then you will have your third language and then finally you have social science. Mind you, there is no separate day for history and geography. Both of this will be clubbed together. If 
you can have a look at the model paper um, for social science. If uh, you uh, don't have the model paper, you can ask your teacher. And uh, I will be uploading these model papers on the on my site. And or otherwise, what you can do is you can even go to Gobert site, and that is uh, this uh, students corner. Go under that uh, for 2024, and you will be able to see different things uh, under that. So, search for uh, model papers uh, for class nine, 2024, 2025 academic year. Each of these subjects. Okay. So. So, uh, this is the schedule that you have for the upcoming examination in October 2022. Uh, please uh, do share your comments, whatever you have, on the schedule that is the, that you have, with uh, whether you have, you're ready with your preparation or not, whether you needed more time or not on this, whether you expected this to be in October or because there was some uh, confusion as to that there was some press release uh, that was circulating that it would be in November as well. Let me have a look. And um, you, if you have liked watching this video, please hit the like button. Share this video with your friends as well as classmates. There will be more videos coming on this as your exam approaches. So please do subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell icon as well. So wherever a new video is released, you will get a notification with respect to uh, that. Okay, so uh, here you can find certain circulars. Okay, I will be in the process of uploading the circulars uh, on this uh, site. Uh, you can go and have a look at this, or you can even, there's also a WhatsApp channel where I keep updating, uh, putting up uh, uh, stuff with respect to your. Uh, uh, academic for 9th as well as for 10th so you can uh, follow that channel and of course follow for any updates on this YouTube channel as well okay so thanks for watching and I wish you all the best for your upcoming examination thanks see you later in the next video